Well, on the ground in Ukraine, the U.N. Secretary General said he was shocked by how close the missiles landed near the hotel where he was staying. President Zelensky called today's attacks an effort by Russia to try and humiliate the United Nations. CBS's Chris Livesay reports tonight from the Capitol. Kyiv, once again in the crosshairs after five missile strikes. On the same day, in the same city, the head of the United Nations witnessed the Russian devastation with his very own eyes. There is no way a war can be acceptable in the 21st century. Look at that. From Irpin to Borodyanka and Bucha, Antonio Guterres visited where these bodies once lay. In Mariupol, hundreds of soldiers and civilians, many of them wounded, continue to resist bombardment inside this steel mill. Nearby in the Black Sea, Russian forces fire cruise missiles at Ukrainian positions. They say striking weapons supplied by foreign countries like the U.S. Weapons Ukraine desperately needs as the battle intensifies in the eastern Donbas region. North of Kyiv, Ukrainian soldiers show us the open terrain that now typifies the warfare they're facing. This is the tangled aftermath of a Russian position that was completely taken out by Ukraine's long-range artillery. It's what they need more of in the Donbas region, and they desperately hope to get it from the United States. Like this. But it's not only weapons they need. Night vision. Night vision, yeah. okay. Plus drones, medical kits, and other crucial equipment for the Ukrainian military from the nonprofit Come Back Alive. They've raised $100 million since the start of the war, says Taras Chmuk. Sorry, so in a war, even a printer and a telephone, those are deadly weapons. Guns win battles, but logistics win wars. Same thing. So printer. The U.N. Secretary General also met with President Zelensky. Both said they were optimistic about reaching a deal with Russia to rescue those trapped inside the Mariupol steel mill. Moments later is when those Russian missiles hit here in the center of Kyiv. Nora. Chris Livesay in the Capitol tonight. Thank you.